Ultimately, this movie is that caused 55 countries around the world to publicly ban the screening. Even to be shown, the film is not afraid to cut 47 minutes. After the final version was released, Johnny Depp divorced his wife, the heroine of the movie, Amber Heard. She is also the character of Miro in the film Aquaman. The movie is about a girl joking around three men. The girl is named Nicola Six, and she's performing what could be called a real prostitute. She once eloquently declared that in this world, there is no family that she cannot destroy. Those at first glance say Nicholas Six can satisfy the illusion of all men in the world because she can know what kind of woman you like with just one look at you. Then she starts disguised as such a woman, approaches you, seduces you, and then takes your money away. She can play an innocent girl in front of a rich guy, can also turn into a sexy hot girl in front of a thug, but Nicholas Six has always intentionally made men see, but cannot eat. Because she thinks what you don't have, you will be forever craving for it. And in general, whatever you like, she can do it. One day, Nicholas Six appeared in a bar. Because she was so beautiful, when she entered, the eyes of all the men were on her. No one can resist the magic power of this beauty. A thug immediately approached to talk. A young man also came over to offer her wine. Everyone scrambled to light a cigarette for her. With just one look, she could conquer all the men in the bar, except this writer. Because he was too poor, he did not dare to speak to this beautiful girl. But luckily, Nicholas Six rented a room in the same block as him, and that day he followed her to a park. Then he picked up the diary she just threw in the trash. He opened to see it, and as it turns out, Nicholas Six could know beforehand the date of her death. She knew she would be murdered on the night of her 30th birthday, and moreover, the perpetrator was always by her side, but she did not know who. Thus, she used her beauty to tease all the men around before she died. Writers looked to the girl, hoping to find inspiration to compose for his murderous love novel. The novel will use the form of an autobiography to record the girl's death. The writer's words have convinced Nicholas Six, and the two people have been cooperating. And so, the beautiful girl told the writer about everyday things that happened to her. The second day, the game started. The thugs actively went to Nicholas Six's house, and on the surface, it was to repair the electric meter, but actually to approach her. After that, his hand was injured. Nicholas Six saw that the opportunity had come and immediately stroked the blood with her finger. On the surface, it looked like it was to help him stop the bleeding, but actually to pull close distances so he could feel the scent of her body. At that moment, another finger was also swollen unbearable. His love fire was burning, completely forgetting that his wife and children were sick at home with no money to treat. But the girl does not let the ruffian achieve his goal, indifferent for a moment, and then says, because what people do not achieve, they will always want. The next day, the young man made an appointment with Nicholas Six out. She put on makeup in the image of a pure innocent girl, matching the boy's taste. On the dining table, the girl showed elegance, tenderness, and successfully created an image keeping herself independent, pure, and honest. While eating, Nicholas Six did not stop using her mouth, pretending to accidentally touch lightly to attract her opponent. At the same time, she also built up a very tragic status. She said she grew up in an orphanage, once had a good sister who is currently in trouble in Myanmar. She hopes he can ask his connections to help her out. The gentle, lovely appearance of Nicholas Six makes the young man need not think much to agree. Unbeknownst to him, he was part of the girl's first plan. Then, she used the money of the rich young man to support the thug on the condition that he had to go to Myanmar to find someone to act with her. Having both money and love, the thug is willing to cooperate. But Nicholas Six immediately slapped the hooligan. She referred to give him sexual desires. At this time, the ruffian was so lustful that his pants were about to get wet when the young man appeared. The thug pretended that he had just finished fixing the electricity and immediately left. And the girl from before, who was still hot, has now put on another pretty discovery. The young man told her that there were no acquaintances in Myanmar and apologized. Nicholas Six cried and asked him to help her sell earrings in exchange for some money to buy plane tickets. She wanted to go to Myanmar herself. Her real pitiful appearance touched the young master. Just because of helping others, the honest girl did not regret selling the earrings that her ancestors loved. The young master, even more, liked her, deciding to overcome difficulties with her. I think I should come with you, right, and it'll be safe. In Myanmar, Nicholas Six said the opponent needed 60,000 to release people. The guy asked if he needed the kiat, the currency of Myanmar, or the US dollar, and she immediately said British pound. Apparently, the girl couldn't have that much money. 
and he himself was a man who agreed to help her solve this, moreover pursuing her, so he foolishly paid her the money. To thank him, Nicholas Six reached out to caress his face. Just that also makes him very happy. The next day, after telling the old writer, she immediately made an appointment to meet the thug. At this time, Nicholas Six had removed the good girl image to put on her sexy hot image. Her makeup is extremely splendid. To thank the thug, she paid him 30,000 pounds. At the same time, also gave her handkerchief to him as a reward. That night, she decided to give the rich man a little pleasure. Nicholas Six called to tell the guy, I could never accept your money. And please, don't worry about my friends in need. I'd stop it. You have to, you have to let me help you. Sorry. Goodbye. After listening, the guy rushed to her house to persuade her to return. After arriving at the destination, Nicholas Six sentently said, then the young man took out a bunch of money to prove it. The girl pretended not to need it, threw the money on the ground, and finally they hugged each other tightly. The old rider next door saw it all. After the young man left, she made an appointment with the rider on the rooftop, using realistic action to thank him for helping her record it all. Because there was not much time anymore, Nicholas Six prepared her final plan. She called the thug, asked him to participate in the dart throwing competition. At the same time, she gave him a large sum of money, along with what he had always craved for. When they were doing sex, the young man suddenly ran over. They hurriedly dressed, and the young man looked at the thug and then looked suspicious. Is he, is he here all the time? The young man is not too stupid. After the thug left, he immediately questioned his girlfriend. But guess what? She replied, I teach him. You, you, you teach him, I, I don't understand. I mean, it's, it's not that he's illiterate exactly. I gave him his first copy of Wuthering Heights the other day. <laughs> has he ever, has he ever done anything to you? Did he ever try to fuck you? you even ask me that? To keep the young man, to clear his doubts from inside, Nicholas Six gave him what he wanted. The next day, he went home and asked for a divorce from his wife. Because of an outside woman, the young man chose to divorce his wife without knowing that he had fallen into a long range trap. The next day is Nicholas Six's 30th birthday. She put on her long dream dress. And the writer gave gifts and said the last goodbye to the beautiful girl because he knew the girl would not be able to escape her fate. Nicholas Six took particular as a girlfriend of the thug to come to see the darts competition and also invited the young man and the writer to come. Today, Nicholas Six is very gorgeous. And while the thug was fighting, she still kept calling the men around. This seemed to have become a habit of hers. And now the girl no longer had to pretend. She tried to use her beauty to make the men infatuated. Even when the young man came, she was still like that. <laughs> I think you should come out with me now. Please, don't be ridiculous. She's coming home with me. The young man was deceived. The thug was also being cuckolded. The writer had seen it all. Nicholas Six drove home. Tonight is her last shining night. From small to old, not only once she had dreamed of her 30th birthday, she was murdered by someone in a car. Nicholas Six calmly walked toward the car, thought that the person in the car, if not the thug, would be the young man. However, when looking inside, how can Nicholas Six think that this person was the old writer? It turns out the young man and the ruffian had just come over, even fighting one more battle, but the old writer advised them to leave. Because he loves Nicholas Six so much, he thinks that if she was killed by one of the other two men, the ending won't be perfect. He wanted to use the perfect ending to finish his novel. Nicholas Six is dragged into the room by the old writer. He left the manuscript of the novel in the front of her chest, and he drank poison lying beside of her. The novel became the last work of his life and then to be taken away by the publisher. So the novel is based on a true story, a story that happened in 1985 in London. And the title of that novel is Battlefield of London.